Hello YouTube and welcome to our 47th or 46th, I can't remember, one of them tutorials. Um, and in this tutorial we're going to do something again, completely away from it, most things. We're going to do a cool little stats system. Um, so by stats system I mean like, um, so it shows your player's strength, so as the more you use your strength, your strength goes up. Um, your shooting skills, the more your shooting skills up, the more it goes up, the accuracy and everything. Um, and stuff like that so it's really easy super super easy and um, you can also incorporate this just like the inventory so if you play it and press I you can see it pops up you can do it like that see so like having it one for P so you press P and then this window will pop up and it says skills like um, weapons damaged blah blah enemies killed blah 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 and it just keeps going like that so it can be really really fun so you could just experiment with this basically so what I'm going to do is in our HUDs, in fact I could put in player stats as soon as it is a player stat, and I'll call it players stats. I will open this up, there we go. So the most of this will actually be, um, it's not about the player's movement and stuff, it's more for their achievements like how many enemies they've killed or how many vehicles they've driven, how far they've driven in vehicles, how, how much they've ran in distance and stuff like that. But f we're not going to do all of them because we could be sat here forever thinking of things. So we're going to do a simple one, how many enemies they've killed. Super easy. So what we're going to do is first type a static var and we, above here we'll just type en enemies. Oh yeah, it turns out I've been spelling enemies like that for ages and it turns out it's like that. Whew. Well who knows. Um, so we've done that static var n m is n m is I think that's wrong that looks wrong enemies killed equals zero so it starts off he's not killed any enemies whatsoever um, we'll make this an int to just stop any further errors int so we don't want it to be zero point one how can you kill half an enemy oh well um, so what we could do is actually add an on GUI statement for all this so like it shows you um, on screen all the labels and stuff but that takes way too long so what I'm gonna simply do is go back to our inventory in fact we'll go back to our options screen open this and we're just gonna basically copy this and edit this so it's just really simple um, we you don't have to do that but I just want to so we'll just leave it there um, change this to on GUI in fact no we won't we're gonna type here enemies killed and what we're going to do is every time, in fact, we'll call, change that, I'm going to change it. Shots fired. So any shooting he does, it will add to this stat. So um, if he fires a fireball, it adds to it. If he fires a duke, it will add to it. But if he time freezes, that's not shooting. Unless we do fireball. Oh well, yeah, fireball skills. That'll do we could do one for Hadouken skills, but not yet. So we'll put static, in fact we'll put var here. Um, change to fireball. You see what I mean? You just change ideas every time. Var, fireball, level. Skill, level. There we go. Uh, this will be an int, it will equal level 1. So basic level has got hardly any experience. What we could do is the more he gets him experienced, the more damage he can do. We could add combos to it and stuff, see? It builds up on GUI, so it's an on GUI. And what we're just going to do is just quickly... Should we do this? And um, we'll first add a function update again. Function capital U, that got me once. And we'll make a quick switch statement, so switch. It will want for the fireball skills here. So we want players stats dot fireball skills so that and it'll be case zero so he's level zero and break um the fireball skill level will be equal zero and we'll what we'll go up to we'll not go up to a higher level go up to one two three four five and then max, so 6 is max. If you wanted to go up to 1000 or 1000 level or something, you would code it and you wouldn't do it each one for each one of these because that would take forever. But I'm going to go up to level 6. I'm just showing you basically how it's done for now. So we've changed all that. So every time um, the player's that fireball skills increases, this, 
Um, in fact, no. So, fireball skill level, right. So, how many shots does he need to fire to be level 1? Well, he needs to fire 0. So, if it's 0, he's got 0 starts. It's kind of a pointless one, but we need it in. So, for the next level, we will say 10. So, we, when he shoots 10 fireballs, his level will be 1. Then, when he shoots 50, I don't know, these are just random numbers, then 100. So, times that by 5, times that by, oh no. Then, 250. 500 and finally a thousand so as you can see it does build up it makes it so he has to play the game loads but if it's like GTA San Andreas I must mean I must have shot a million bullets on that game I played that so much yeah so there we can see we've got the basics so first what we're gonna do is go back to our copy that and we'll go back to our players fire player shut up phone stop vibrating um, so open up our player fire now, so here he shoots. So below the audio, we just could paste in plus equals one. That's it. Done. So get rid of that. Don't need that no more. And so every time he increases, he'll shoot. So this will go up by one. So we just need to test this. So print level zero. And so this one, we're going to type in print level one. So we're just going to see if this does work. Um, we'll equip this to. So that's getting a bit long now, isn't it? Uh, well, it, in fact, what we could now nah, we'll attach it to that. It'll save a lot of hassle. So we just attach it to that. So as you can see, our game is getting bigger. So fireball skill level is zero. So we'll paste this in. So it should print it at the bottom as well. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So level one. So we've got up a level. So if we go shoot 50 come on two and then we well yeah as you can see it works so if we get to a hundred well yeah we get up but obviously we're gonna have to make those increase one time so like so play doesn't sit there going ha 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 we'll like add a mana bar or something yeah mana bar would be cool um so yeah so that's as you can see that's basic i'm not leaving you there though we want it on screen now it does it so from here we're going to rip um Begin group and label, and then we'll end the group in a minute. So, GUI dot end group. Does it have brackets? Yep. Right. So, here we're going to put skill level, skill name. Well, yeah, we'll call it level. So, put that back and put that back. So, as you can see, so this is way too far. So, we want it. 10 from the side, this is just guessing, I've actually got the notes for this one. How many down? We'll say 100 down, so it's down the screen. Uh, the size, that's the sizes. No. Position. Yeah, that's right. So the group, yeah, we'll keep it like that. Uh, no, we won't. we'll put it back to 0 and 0. That's right. I'm getting mixed up here. So this is the one we want to edit. So 10, oh, I forgot, 50 down. 50 across, 10 across, 50 down here, yeah. 360 right, that's fine. And we'll call this one um, Fireball Skill. Fireball. So we'll copy this first, paste it below again, and we'll call this Name. And this will be Skills. Um, this one we'll put a little dash there because it looks cool, weird dash. Um, we'll change this out a bit so it's not the same level as it it's like just nudged across a tiny bit because then you'll be able to see it you'll see in a minute fireball so in here we're going to put fireball there and we're going to put I'm going to put the thing back yeah put it here there we go and in here I'm going to put plus and then we're going to put the level of it fireball skill level so that should do it. Now, if, when we run that, it should create the group on top of our screen. Move this into the right position, saying skills. And then it should say fireball, and it should equal to our skill level. So in theory, if we take these print statements out, we should be able to see. Um, I'll make it, make it maximise so we can actually tell. So fingers crossed, because I haven't got these noted down. Ooh, it's so close. 
Let's try it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. So, as you can see, it's gone up. Let's bash it up to 50. Ah, oh, come on. I could rate do with a rapid fire keyboard. Two. So, as you can see, it is working, but obviously the heights have messed up. Which it has. Right here, look. 20 and 10. We've just budged it out again. Which is what we wanted. Yeah, I remember. Um, change it to 30 so it's a bit out more. But the down distance, if each one's big as 60, move it down to 100, maybe it'll work better. You can actually hear me tapping as well, that's so funny. Um, so, whoa, that's better, but not brilliant. It's like our line script's been took out as well for some strange reason. But skills, fireball equals zero, so we'll move that back up. Because that's f way too down. Uh, 70. It's only down a tiny bit. And what else was I going to do? I was going to move the whole thing down. Because it's not good enough. 20. So. Where's our line script? It's been took out. Right. So I really, I'll need to add that back in for next tutorial. But for some reason it's been deleted. Don't know why. But yeah, so we'll try that now. One. There we go. So it goes up. Now you've got a skill level. You could add like an image there, make it change the image every time he levels up or something. Be really cool. So um, 10, I'm going to change this to t um, 2, 4. Just so we can test if it does go up. Because if it overlaps it, then it's not good. So press it twice. One, two, four. So there we go, it goes up, up and up and up. And all you have to do is, if you want to add another one, is you can either copy and paste this or make a little algorithm for it. I'll probably make an algorithm on one time, but not now. <laughs> but copy these two here, change it to, say, enemy deaths. So enemy deaths, enemy death skills equals zero, enemy skill level equals zero. And add this again, but just copy only this bit here. So it will say, like, um, enemies dead and it'll say what level it is so that's really cool it's like a little stat system for you I'll definitely put the align script back in I can't believe that's actually been deleted don't know why but yeah um, so we've got a stat system go up one two two three so he's dead that a plus one on it but as you see we've pretty much got it time so still works one, two. So as you can see, we can move faster than our bullets. We'll have to speed them up. But yeah, so we've got basics. It's not brilliant, brilliant. I just thought I'd show you how such a simple concept can result in something really cool. So yeah, so thanks for watching. and.